Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to calculate the minimum bolt diameter required to resist uplift forces. Let's start with a worked example. We have a steel column held down by four grade 8.8 .8 bolts, cast into a concrete foundation, and subjected to a 250 kN design uplift force. How should we figure out what the minimum bolt diameter should be? The design tensile capacity of a bolt is given by this equation. FUB is the ultimate tensile strength of a bolt. The two commonly used grades are 4.6 and 8.8. .8. Grade 4.6 bolts are common mild steel, and sometimes referred to as black bolts. Grade 8.8 .8 bolts are higher in strength. The first number refers to the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt and the second number gives a multiplier to get the yield stress. For example, a grade 8.8 .8 bolt has an ultimate tensile strength of 800 newton per millimeter squared, and a yield stress of 800 times 0.8, which equals 640 newton per millimeter squared. AS is the bolt tension area. The tensile area represents the area of the bolt at the root of the threads, and so is less than the nominal area of the bolt shank. For commonly used sizes of standard metric bolts, the tension areas are given in this table. Gamma M2 is partial safety factor 1.25. So, for our worked example, what bolt diameter is required? Bear in mind, the uplift load 250 kN is stated as the design force and hence already includes partial safety factors for loads. So, load per bolt equals 250 kN divided by number of bolts which is 4. This gives us a value of 62.5 kilonewtons. 62.5 kilonewtons times 1000 to convert it to newton, which equals 62,500 newtons. As we mentioned, design tensile capacity of bolt equals 0.9, times ultimate tensile strength 800 newton per millimeter squared, times the bolt tension area, which we need to figure out, divided by partial safety factor 1.25, equals design uplift for 62,500 newtons. Therefore, the bolt tension area equals 109 millimeters squared. As a result, we should use 16 diameter bolts, tension area 157 millimeters squared. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.